7 through 13. Romans 15, 7 through 13. And the New King James Version reads, Wherefore receive ye one another, as Christ also received us to the glory of God. Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers, and that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, For this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles, and sing unto thy name. And again he said, Rejoice, ye Gentiles, with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles, and laud him, all ye people. And again, Isaiah said, that's Isaiah, there shall be a root of Jesse, and he shall rise to reign over the Gentiles. In him shall the Gentiles trust. Here it is in verse 13. Now the God
this very hour. So now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, if there's anything that's in me that's not of you, I ask that you remove it, sir, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I ask that you anoint me from the top of my head to the soul of my head. Lord, I ask that you stand up in me and speak to me, to me and for me. That people will hear you and not me. That people will see Jesus and not me. And that people will worship you, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Have your way, sir. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in my sight. Oh Lord, I'm stern. Speak, Lord. We need a word from you. Speak, Lord. Your word is life. Speak, Lord. Your word will comfort us. Speak, Lord. Your word. Your word. Your word. Your word. Your word. Your word. Nurse. To our soul. And Lord, when we leave this place, you won't tell anybody it's because we show them. But we'll tell them it's because heaven met humanity right here in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Speak, Lord. Speak. The people of this. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. And Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a
I just stopped by this morning just to let you in on the conversation me and God had. And I was mostly listening. And he was doing all the talking. But I just want to share with you the notes that I got from him talking to me. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, today marks the second Sunday of the Advent season in the body of Christ. It is a season where we acknowledge the first coming of our Savior to save the world from its sins. However, today we still anticipate the return of our Redeemer and soon coming King, who shall unite us with Him in glory, and we shall reside in heaven forever with God our Heavenly Father. Yet in the, our text today, the, uh, the church is uh, enduring persecution. Have you ever been persecuted? Have you ever been called out of your name? Have you ever been talked about, lied on? Have you ever been disliked and people don't even have a reason to dislike you? Who have a witness yet? The church is being persecuted today in our text, and it is by trusting God and God alone that the children of God have blessing and a prayer to His readers including us, the church, the body of Christ, of believers today. You are going to say amen. amen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these verses show uh, a preacher that joy, peace, and hope are intermingled. Yeah, yeah. They all come from God by the power of the Holy Spirit. And in other words, this joy that I have, there is no persecution. Sometimes we are still harassed by Satan. With his devious and deceptive antics. However, I stop by to remind us today, First Lady, that we can still endure. Yeah. Yes, Satan's darkness in the kingdom. Amen. Through Christ. And until Christ returns. How is this done? By trusting God. Amen. Who keeps his promises. Yeah, yeah. I believe it's Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 says, uh, Trust the Lord. Yeah. 
Bye. 
translated preacher in 29 and 11, he said, the Lord will give, here it is, an amplified class, it says, unyielding, don't miss this, and impenetrable strength to his I noticed that she was a woman of God. Yeah. 
this overflowing hope that Pastor was talking about. Yeah. Remember back when you were in school, or you still in school, they give you formulas? Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so I'm going to give you a spiritual formula that's in the scripture, Come on, based yeah. on the scripture, that you can take in the way you go. All right. All right. All right. Are you with me? It's right there in the scripture. Put, put, put the text back up there. Uh, uh, it's not up there already. Uh, 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 Romans 13 and B. Amen. 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 Uh, 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 here, here's what it says. Go back to 13 uh, uh, at the very beginning when we first showed the slide. Amen. Amen. Verse 13 in its entirety at the very beginning. Are you there? Yes, if it's up there, say amen. Yes, amen. Amen. What you'll see here is that it says, May the God of what? Your hope. Do what? Fill you with what? Joy and peace and believing through what? The experience of your faith that the hope.
what it said. It says, but without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must what? Believe that he is, and that he is a what? Rewarder to who? Those who diligently seek him. And so if you haven't been filled lately, Hallelujah. you have to ask yourself, have I been seeking? If you haven't been bubbling over lately, we have to ask ourselves, have I been seeking? Right now. If we can't get past our circumstances, knowing that God can do anything, we have to question ourselves. Because Jesus says it this way in John 15 and 5. I am the light. You are the branch. He who abides in me, and I am him. Here it is, here it is, Mr. Watson bears much fruit. Here it is, looking at Michelle, for without me, you can do nothing. Now Romans 8, 23 through 25 says it this way, not only that, but we also who have, we also who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even ourselves grown within ourselves, eagerly awaiting the adoption and the redemption of our body. Verse 24 says, For we were saved in hope. Yeah, hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hope, here it is, preacher. But hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? And verse 25 says, But if we have hope for what we do not see, yeah, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. And then verse John 3 1 and 3, as I come to a close, says, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, and that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us. Stop trying to be friends with everybody.
doesn't know Jesus Christ and the pardon of their sins. They have not accepted him as their own person. And today we offer Christ to you. You can come by candidate for baptism. Also known as confession of faith. You can come by Christian experience or you can come by that. The doors of the church are open. Will you come? Will you come? Today is your day. The Lord is waiting. The Lord is waiting. Is there one? He will give you brand new life.
said as often as you drink it, do it and remember it someday. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord, you do show the Lord's death until he comes. He says, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man Also. 
Not up like 